Welcome. Uh, what we're going to do is simplify this radical expression and have the square root of 5 divided by 4 minus the square root of 5. So when simplifying this radical expression, they're asking us to divide. And they want us to divide by this radical expression. We don't really want to do this um, because I don't want to divide by a irrational number, which is in the square root of 5. So help me to simplify this. What I can do is multiply by the conjugate of 4 minus square root of 5. Well, the conjugate of 4 minus square root of 5 is 4 plus the square root of 5. And I've got to make sure I multiply that on the top and the bottom to make sure I keep equivalent fractions. So now the next thing is I notice is I can just multiply the top. When multiplying a radical times a binomial, it's just going to be like your like term. 4 times these, since there's a not like terms, 4 times square root of 5 is just going to produce me 4 times square root of 5. However, when I'm multiplying a radical times a radical, I can multiply the radicands, the numbers inside it, under your root. So therefore, that's going to produce me plus the square root of 25. And I'll get into simplify this in just a second. So then, now here, this is very special because what I have here is I have a difference of two squares. That's why we multiply by the conjugate, because what that does is that produces us a difference of two squares, which tells us that my middle terms are going to cancel out. So when you do your kind of multiply by binomials, however you want to do it, FOIL, so forth, when you do all of that, um, what you'll happen is your middle terms cancel out. So all I really can do is just multiply my first and my last two terms. 4 times 4 is going to give me a positive 16. Negative square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to give me a negative square root of 25. So now let's go ahead and simplify this solution a little bit. 4 times square root of 5, this is going to remain 4 times square root of 5. However, the square root of 25, I can reduce as 5. Then, I can again reduce square root of 25, which is going to give me 5. Well, 16 minus 5 is going to give me 11. And there you go. That is how uh, you want to simplify when you're dividing by a binomial with a radical expression. Thanks.